Nestled in the breadbasket of Jamaica, you'll find Treasure Beach, a wonderful laid-back spot that has the soul and the vibe of this beautiful country. So, come with me. I'll show you how to walk the path the least traveled. So although we're based in Treasure Beach, there's some really cool excursions not too far out. Our first stop, uh, one with quite a bite, Charles Swaby's Black River Safari. Okay, so Mr. Swaby, I know that you have this fantastic Black River Safari here. Tell me about what, 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 what do people see when they come? Okay, well basically, the safari consists of a trip on a luxurious vessel mm -hmm. upstream on the Black River for about a mile mm -hmm. and then we go on to the Salt Spring River okay. for another three miles and return. And is there anything to be afraid of with these crocodiles? Nothing. In fact, I'll tell you this. Tell me. It's safer going on a boat trip up the Black River than driving from Kingston to <laughs> Black River. Do you have a nursery slash sanctuary? Tell me about that. Well, that now came about mm -hmm. from animals that I have in Mandeville okay. that occasionally I can carry down mm -hmm. hatchlings and grow them here in Black River. There are also hatchlings that we rescue because the mortality rate among hatchlings is very high. So that's why we have over here our nursery. How many years have you been in this crocodile business? Certainly over 50 years. Over 50 years? More than a half Any a lost century. limbs? Not yet. Nothing to be afraid of on this safari. No big deal. You will leave them alone, they leave you alone. Mission accomplished. I touched the crock. So, you know we have to show you the good food spots whenever we're on tour, right? This one, very popular with tourists, a favorite of locals, and they've been around for 10 years. So obviously the food is packing some punch. This is Jack Spratt, a must-stop spot when you're in Treasure Beach. Now, Tamisha, the first thing I want to know is Jack Spratt. What is that? Why that name? You have to tell me. Okay, Jack Spratt is a part of the Jake's Hotel and Villas group, and as such, all our cottages at Jake's is named after fish, mm -hmm. so hence the name Jack Spratt. Now, you're on the beach, Seafood is a must. Tell me about the menu. We have octopus, we have conch, we have shrimp, we have lobster, we have fish, we have crab. And of course, we have our famous pizza. The shrimp and the lobster. They're the best? Yeah. <laughs> now, we found a spot where the water has medicinal healing properties. For my Jamaicans out there, if you need to wash off your crosses, then the bubbling spring mineral bath is the spot for you. Now, Stacian, this water is said to have healing properties. Does it re can it really heal people? Yes, it can. Tell me what's in it. Okay, you have minerals such as magnesium, mm -hmm. manganese, sodium, calcium, iron, amongst other minerals. Okay. And this water is tested yearly by the Scientific Research Council. Okay. The water springs up naturally from underground mm -hmm. and it also travels from the cockpit in Trelawney and it flows to the Black River. Well, apart from its healing properties, on a really hot day, this surely is super refreshing. Now, Kalaloo is one of our popular local dishes, but this take on Kalaloo is a little different and very cool, because 95% of the products here are made locally. I think preserving the authenticity of everything from Jamaica being good. Now another wicked off the beaten track food spot, Eggie's Beach Bar. Nice rustic vibe, ice cold bears and of course, supreme seafood. So 
So of course, you know, we have to show you the cool spots to hang out, the great locations to eat, but what is a vacation without the ideal spot to stay? And one of those is Sunset Resort and Villas right here in Treasure Beach and Cory South. This thing has been in your family for over 30 years. Tell me about that. Okay, my parents bought this property approximately 32 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, built this resort here in um, 1993. We call it a little piece of heaven. We have 14 rooms. It's a small property, but it's an intimate, you know, romantic property. Mm -hmm. um, it's an excellent place to really just get away from everything. All yeah. of our rooms have air conditioning, all the amenities. The food is really good. Yes, man. Yes, like man. We work very hard on the restaurant. The restaurant is a big aspect of it. It's a lot of work and um, it's, uh, we've, uh, feel that we've done a nice job with the restaurant as well. You know you say Yemen more than me? Eh? Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> You're more of a Jamaican than me. <laughs> 16 years will do that to you. Yemen. Mm -hmm. Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> Now, right behind me here, we have a span of 14 miles of just pure beach. I live here and I've never seen anything like this. Can you imagine that this is the second hut that Floyd built? I mean, the first one, natural disaster, wiped out. And by hand, he decided to build it again. It really speaks to the human spirit. You know, it never ceases to amaze me with this little island here that I live in called Jamaica. There is always something new to discover. I have to give it to Jamaica Tourist Board. They nailed it. Once you go, you know. <laughs> <laughs>